What is up YouTube, it is your boy Quickie here with some exciting Nintendo NX news. I don't know if it's exciting, I guess it is for some people, but yeah. <laughs> so let me get in. So Eurogamer came out with a lot of confirmed sources that they didn't announce yet. They said they were going to give a barrage of information. When they started, they said they're going to, this week and upcoming weeks, they're going to give a ton of information for us to absorb and handle. And obviously other news outlets, Forbes and fucking Fortune, GameStop, Polygon, everyone's picking it up. So... Let me cut to the chase. The Nintendo's next console. This is basically my interpretation of what I understand from the fucking thing. There's no pictures. It's just word. And it's not confirmed by Nintendo. But it's most likely confirmed. Because, again, it's by legitimate, trustable sources. By Eurogamer, that's not a shitty website. It's a trustable source. So I'm pretty sure 90-ish percent of the stuff they're saying is correct. 90-ish. That's the keyword. Okay. Back at it. <laughs> Nintendo's new console will be a hybrid. A console slash mobile type of console. Yes, I know. That sounds weird. We heard rumors about it. People even stated it last year. But I believe it is going down that route. And it doesn't make sense. I don't know. I can't say. They're, they're very dominant in the handheld market. They're going down the mobile route. They're doing well on Pokemon Go. I mean, a lot of people downloaded it. Fuck the stock market. Money losing. That's investors being stupid. That's a different topic. But they've been doing well overall. In a sense. Because that was their first technically game. but And they've done sort of pretty damn well. So th if they actually go down this road, they could do well. They, basically, they're getting out the console race. Is it wise? I don't know. Wii U was trash and it kind of failed. <laughs> is this uh, the, the route to go? I don't know. Maybe. Because Nintendo is known for supposedly like, them doing their innovations and uniqueness. Because, dude, I would never expect Sony to be fucking making a mobile hybrid console type of shit. Yeah, no. You wouldn't. Neither would you see Xbox doing that. They would be like, what the fuck? <laughs> they would literally be like, what the hell is this shit? So anyways, I mean, did, it could it be a commercial success? Fuck yeah, it could be another Wii. You could sell another 100 million units. I don't know. It possibly could, but I'm not going to say that yet. Because again, I don't didn't, I didn't even know how it looks like. If it looks disgusting, people could even, that could even turn them off. But for now, I'm just going to explain what the hell it is. So again, it's a hybrid. It's going to have like a docking station. If you guys have laptops in there, if you've seen a docking station, in a sense, it's like that. But you can just pick it up and go. It has detachable controllers from what I understand. It just sounds mad complex and stupid at points. Like, Kotaku made an illustration picture, which looks extremely retarded. I was like, okay, is that it? What the fuck? I was like, okay, I, I guess that's cool. I don't know how it would work. Again, illustration, not real. We've seen patents. We can go based off a patent on how it might be. But it's supposedly, again... It's portable, you literally pick it up and go. You pick up the fucking console and go. Or you put the fucking console on the docking station and you play it on your big ass TV. So it's basically, damn, I can't even think how big you would make that. How big could it possibly be? Or how small could it possibly be that it fits on you in a portable? It has to be as big as a 3DS. It's not as big as an iPad, that's insane. You can't fit that in your pocket. And no one walks around with a big ass... I mean, people do walk around with an iPad, but no one's going to walk around with their game in their hand like that. Again, DS, 3DS, Vita. Put it in your pocket. Straight up, put it in your pocket. It's fine. It's thick. It's big. It's still pocketable. So, yeah, that obviously matters. Now, the other part to me, which I kind of cared a lot about, in a sense. I know a lot of people, a lot of Nintendo fans usually back it up by saying, Oh, graphics don't mean shit. It's going to be very underpowered it's going to be below the ps4 and xbox one mark in terms of power graphics and everything that kind of sucks there's obviously more detail on how the spec or the graphic card they're trying to use or the power they're trying to use is supposedly trying to match a mobile phone thing because you're gonna put out another article stating this explicitly like they made a whole article on just the, the graphics and the comparison between this and the ps4 and i'm like if they go down the mobile route okay it's very powerful if they go down i mean again this is based off still the pro the probability of it being a, a hybrid console if they're obviously going down the console route it's trash it's dude when the PS4 and Xbox One came out, it was underpowered. Literally. It was already outdated, even though it just came out. 
that's how PC shit always is. That's how parts always are. They're always outdated. Like, you get one graphic card for a grand, boom, the next month you get another one for another fucking grand, and it'll be ten times better than the one that came out. It's always going down that route. There's always fucking AMD and all these companies are always announcing a better, 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 better in a couple of months. So, yeah. But still, in terms of console, PS4 and Xbox One in their times were very, very powerful. And Wii U was kind of trash. Then this one is supposed to be below them. And right now, the PS4 and Xbox One are very underpowered, in a sense. Like, if you if you could, if the fucking Neo comes out, it'll probably be the same price as when the PS4 got launched. And it'll be four times as powerful. Is it four times or two times? Something like that. It has, it's supposed to have 4.5 teraflops. You get what I mean. It's supposed to be very powerful. I think four times. So, that kind of, again, shows a lot. Like, what the fuck? This sh- trash they're making is going to be very weak. But again, if they're going down the mobile route, it makes sense. It's actually very powerful. If not, it's very underpowered. But does that matter? In a sense, come on. Third party people won't support it then. I know Nintendo doesn't aim for power and graphics. Like, you don't see Zelda as fucking uh, Final Fantasy or like how Square Enix makes their games or Uncharted in a sense. But still, you want to have a powerful console you don't want to be extremely outdated let's say they do go down this route of cheap graphics and whatever it better be 200 dollars or some shit <laughs> i don't want to pay three four hundred fucking dollars for that shit then that makes no sense and i guess last but not least it will be cartridges cool i have no problems with that i don't know why people complain cds are fine cartridges are fine when people hear cartridge they think of a nintendo fucking 64 <laughs> or they think of sega or some shit no dude think of an SD card. That's a cartridge. Just literally think of an SD card. They're not gonna go fucking down the route of using a fucking like a Nintendo 64 cartridge. That that is stupid. It's gonna be some either it is going to be an SD card, or or how the DS works. You they have their thing. You put the SD card in and you have it. It's probably gonna be either or, and it's going to have games. They're not gonna go digital. Most of their fan base, I don't think, like digital stuff. And again, it's children. At, at for for a certain degree, it's children. They can't really get a credit card and just buy it. They rather go to GameStop or a game store and you know, buy the cartridge. Makes sense for Nintendo, especially. I know PS4 for me. I just if I'm fucking lazy, I download that shit. If I'm actually smart, I get it off of Amazon because I get it cheaper. I literally get it cheaper. <laughs> so yeah. But still, that's different discussion, different story. But overall, hmm, interesting. I guess it's pretty cool. I will definitely buy it. But I, I mean, that's, I'm still bought it. Like, I really want it because of Zelda, honestly. Fuck the Wii U. I'm not getting the Wii U for Zelda. But I want it for Zelda. But I still need to see what the fuck is going on. I truly still need to see what is going on with this console. I need to see how it looks like. And I need to see this weird-ass fucking concept they've done with the hybrid mobile shit. So let's see, guys. Let's see how it progresses. But guys, let me know your thoughts below about this console hybrid shit. Let me know. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps a lot. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. Besides that, we out. Peace.